My name is Thomas Hirschhorn. I'm Swiss. I was born in Bern, Switzerland, 1957, so I'm 52. I grew up in Davos, in the Swiss mountains, and uh, I made my studies in the Kunstgewerbeschule Zürich in, uh, in the center of Switzerland, and I left uh, Zürich for Paris 26 years ago where I am standing now and living and working in uh, Aubervilliers in the suburb of Paris. My work here is separated in three parts. Um, the title of the exhibition is Burning Everywhere. It's Burning Everywhere is the title also of the main exhibition here in the Gallery 2 where I'm sitting now. This is a new work. I made, produced by DCA Dundee. But there is another work called uh, Substitution 2, The Unforgettable, which is the title, which is uh, a work I made uh, three years ago and which was exhibited in Stephen Friedman Gallery in London at first. And then there are a series of 20 collages, I called Ur collages in the Annex Room, um, uh, back uh, at the uh, gallery too. So there are these two, three works, but the work I want to speak about and the work who is the, the most, uh, um, the, the, the newest and the, the most expansive work here is uh, It's Burning Everywhere. It's a work uh, which wants to give form to uh, the idea that uh, uh, the world is not uh, split off in conflict zones, um, which are always conflict zones where the other is living, not myself, but to try to give a form to uh, the way to understand the world and the world where I am as whole as a conflict zone, each, even myself, I am the conflict, I am a part of the conflict, so even the conflict is in myself. That's why the title, it's burning everywhere. It's burning also in myself. I am a part of uh, the fire, in a way. So I use, normally, materials uh, that everybody knows and uses. I mean, cardboard, tape, color, mannequins here, plexiglass, there are materials, neon tubes, silver paper, etc. There are materials that everybody knows and everybody uses. To me it's important that there were, these materials has, have no plus value as a material. They have only a plus value because it's an artwork done with it. So this is very important to me that their materials are connected to the everybody, every day and everybody use in a way. These materials also, I want, and I see them as non-intimidating. So there is a direct uh, contact with the material through the content of the exhibition. That's why I'm using uh, also prints, uh, uh, here wedding dresses. Uh, so materials, there is no doubt from where they are coming, from the everyday life. When you ask me how that I wanted people engaged to work. It's, I wanted they are implicated. But what means implicated? Of course, implicated with, with the body, but also with the sense and also with the thinking, I hope, with the, with the brain. So this is another work to touch. But of course, because you are coming in and actually you're touching it with feet, because you are on the ground who I made as well, you're completely in a recipient of my work and you're touching it actually. But it's not a touching that you, it has to be needed because I want to touch the people in the brain or in the heart, not, of course, because you, can, you think because you touch something with your hand, you get the content better. This is a, a myth. But it's also not a problem, of course, because the materials I use, they have no, uh, they are not, they are not afraid to be contacted or to be in contact. But the really implication I want is the implication of the thinking. What about, what, te what can tell this work to me? What, uh, what's about to happen? What wanted the artist? What 
is he saying, what is he doing, what is he doing for me and how he gives me the, the tool or the key to go into his mind in a way. That's what I want.